<laughs> well, me and Steve just drove almost 700 kilometers to pick up this mighty fine cab that needs a little bit of love. Same spot they all do, but we'll get to that later and show you. Picked up this beauty front clip, original fenders basically rust free a little bit of rust here in the front cliff but nothing scary and uh we're gonna show you what's wrong with my square body at the moment but this is what we went through today the roads are absolutely horrible we broke straps the whole way ended up using a rope couldn't keep none of the straps tight the roads are just absolutely pounded to hell uh government's doing a great job of keeping you know that stuff in order with all their tax money they're collecting on fuel and stuff so anyhow we're gonna try to get some of this stuff off and get out of her so this is the worst straight here this just needs to be played with a bit um, got this piece for underneath the back here because that's not great in a couple spots <clears throat> the doors aren't too bad and they got a piece of two by two square tubing geared up on each side well fellas I told you I'd give you an update on all the toys and right now we've got the square body back in the shop and we're giving her a dirty going over. I went and bought a cab, thought I was doing myself good, but the cab that I bought was all gone along here, spots that I already fixed on this, and the wiring was just a nightmare, so I decided we're gonna fix this cab up. So anyway, we're putting this piece in, we're cutting this rust out, we're gonna put new metal in, fabricate this all together. Uh, we finally got the fender back up tight. Where is it here? Right here. We had a big gap here before, so we got the cab sitting somewhere close to where it should be. I've been working at this stupid motor mount that I put in from day one that I never should have done. And I got these nice new proper LS mounts. They're adjustable and they slide. So you can line them up however you want. And I'm in debate right now if I shouldn't just get the factory 350 mount bolt back on that frame and just say, Bob's your uncle. Um, but yeah, I'm a lot happier with the way things are fitting in here now. Um, I don't think I'm going to have to move my oxygen sensor. I think even once the headers are on, and we get that pipe fastened up. I think I'm still gonna have lots of clearance room there for that. But uh, slow progress, rusty, rusty, like look what we're dealing with here. So I'm not sure, I'd like to put a set of fenders on to it, but Dunk said if we got to, we'll just patch them. And then we got some lighting issues to straighten out. I drove the old girl all winter in the salt and well, as you can see, it doesn't do them any good. That fender's cheesed. The old box isn't too bad. 
Um, so we just gotta get her sprayed up. I got an airbag leak on this side, brand new kit, so that's great. But yeah, slowly but surely, we will get this thing back up, geared up as a good solid truck. It's a work in progress. Well, the old truck's coming together. Yeah. We got, Donkey got the motor mount fabricated into it today. We got the exhaust back on. Headers fit all nice and beautiful. Motor mount looks good. We got the clutch linkage back on. Still got cheese here to figure out. Might just buy fenders if we can find them. The floor and the cab mount is just beautiful. All new metal. Door closes. It's even actually pretty straight. This right here used to be big time out. Then we move back here, and we still got a bunch of tail light issues to figure out. I'm quite sure the issues underneath where that cab mount was messed up. Dunk's got a pack geared up for here. Cover that sin. And we got a little fuckery here to deal with. Another what? 18 hours of welding. We should be getting close. <laughs> There's a picture before he sealed it all with the sealer. So that's what her floor looks like inside now. So that's all pretty good stuff. And then we got our roadkill list over here on the bench. Exhaust, gonna hang the exhaust up. Box and tailgate, he's working on that now. Tail light issues, probably gonna undercoat it after we do all this work. Fender and my new airbag kit. This airbag's leaking on this side for some reason. So slowly but surely, starts up good. Clutch is all adjusted, feels good when it moves, so I'm pretty happy.